Chagas disease is caused by a highly mobile, microscopic parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi, or trypanosome. The parasite is transmitted by a vector called the triatamine bug, nicknamed vinchuca in Latin America. The bug hides between stones in the walls of houses and under straw roofs. During the night, the vinchuca comes out of hiding to feed on human blood. When it's finished feeding, it defecates next to the bite. The victim later scratches the bite, unwittingly helping the parasite to enter the body. The parasite that causes Chagas disease transforms throughout its life cycle. The parasite penetrates the tissue cells and multiplies before entering the bloodstream. Once in the bloodstream, it infects even more cells. This is the first acute phase, which lasts about two months. Due to the large number of parasites in the blood during this phase, it is the only time the disease can be diagnosed. People may not even know that they are ill as symptoms are so mild. A slight fever, headache, pallor, and muscular discomfort. Chagas disease does have some very recognizable signs, but they're rare. A skin lesion around the bite, or a swelling of the eyelid, called Romagna's sign. Then, nothing at all. This is the chronic, asymptomatic phase, and for years or even decades, infected people have no apparent symptoms. The disease deserves its nickname, Silent Killer. 10 to 30 years later, a third of sufferers develop the chronic phase. It can be rapid, and some people die without ever knowing they had the disease. During all these years, the parasites have been present in several of the body's organs. In the digestive system, they cause the colon and esophagus to dilate. In the nervous system, they can cause dementia. In the heart, it can lead to cardiac disorders, some of them fatal.